It's a perennial trick question. What's the deadliest animal on Earth? The answer is not crocodiles or snakes, and certainly not sharks. Far and away, the creature most responsible for human suffering is the mosquito. The World Health Organization estimates that the spread of malaria, dengue, and yellow fever by mosquitoes results in several million deaths a year. In the United States, mosquitoes have caused almost 40,000 cases of the West Nile virus since 1999. Just last year, several cases of the chikungunya virus turned up in Florida for the first time ever. The painful infection is spread by invasive species like the Asian tiger mosquito, which wasn't even present in the US until 1985. Which leads to a question you've probably asked yourself. If mosquitoes are such a danger, why don't we just kill them all? Why do they even exist? Put that to a mosquito researcher and you're likely to get a dismissive laugh. They've heard this before. First, they'll tell you it's hard to predict the ecological effect of killing off mosquitoes. Two entomologists told us they're unaware of any species that relies solely on mosquitoes for food, but that's not to say there would be no unforeseen consequences to wiping them out. Plus, to kill them all, we'd have to do some serious damage to their habitats with its own untold effects. And besides, there'd be no point. Of the 3,000 or so mosquito species worldwide, only a couple dozen spread disease to humans. Many don't bite people at all. And as our researchers pointed out, any two species of mosquito can be as different as a hummingbird and a bald eagle. Why would we try to target all those species with a single blow? So give up your dream of a mosquito-free world for a more realistic goal. How do we at least get rid of those species that are a real threat? Now we're talking. The textbook method calls for environmental steps, like draining creeks to make conditions unfavorable to mosquitoes, then the use of larvicide to target the young of problem species. You can go after adults with certain pesticides if necessary. But many more cutting-edge approaches are in the works. One, described by a University of Kentucky researcher, employs what he called mosquito birth control. His technique involves bacteria called Wolbachia, which lives in many of the world's insects. In mosquitoes, males and females infected with the bacteria must have the exact same strain to reproduce successfully. Researchers can use this knowledge to introduce multiple strains and effectively sterilize males, hence mosquito birth control. This may not create a world free of smacking your neck and spraying yourself with chemicals when mosquito season strikes, but eliminating the two dozen species that spark human disease would be one of the greatest public health victories in history.